What's up everyone, happy Monday, happy YouTube day. So if you guys have noticed, I am wearing a nice hat. I just got back from Nashville for one of my best friend Pete's bachelor party. If you guys have been in MIC for a while, you know that Pete is one of my closest friends. He's come to pretty much all the meetups. So all the members know him, all the members love him, and he's getting married in June. So we went to Nashville, just came back yesterday. Nashville was awesome. Hattie B's has some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. And no offense to New Orleans, but I think Nashville is just a way cleaner version of New Orleans. The people are so nice, the people are so cool, and nine out of 10 tourists are actually bachelorette parties. So it's flooded with women, it's kind of crazy. So if you're a bachelor, all your boys are single, go to Nashville, there's tons of girls everywhere. So let's talk about trading, let's talk about the market today. So I wanna kind of talk about the best strategy that you could use on the long side or the short side to make money when the market is starting to heat up. So as you guys know, we have been in an aggressive bear market. That means that stocks aren't really running, stocks are kind of crashing because the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, right? They're making money more expensive to borrow. And when they make money more expensive to borrow, profits go down, costs go up, and it just makes everything a lot more of a headache. But the interest rate expectations are starting to go lower, which means probably by the end of the year, the Federal Reserve is going to start to drop interest rates. When this happens, we get stocks to run. So today has been kind of one of the first days that we've seen stocks really starting to run again in the market. So I wanna talk about what I did today to make money. I wanna talk about what you guys could do to make money on the long side and the short side. So number one is I wanna talk about sector plays. So sector plays are sectors that are getting real world popularity and real world attention from mainstream media, which is causing the stocks of these sectors to go crazy. So for example, when Bitcoin was being covered by mainstream media, stocks like RIOT, stocks like Mara went straight up, right? When we had the pandemic, we had pandemic stocks going crazy. When we had marijuana stocks in play, we had IGC and NBEV going crazy. When we had the Ferguson shootings, we had body cam companies, DGLY, ISNS going crazy. So this is not a new thing that happens for sectors. Currently, the sector that is hot, the sector that is moving the markets is AI stocks. So as you guys know, Microsoft purchased 50% of OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT for $10 billion. So there's other stocks that are running in the AI theme like BBAI, SOUN, and most importantly, AI. There's actually a stock with the ticker symbol AI that's going crazy, right? So what ends up happening is when these stocks start to get attention, they cause more people to get attention. It causes a snowball effect, causes a domino effect, okay? So we had the initial run on AI about a couple months ago. It kind of consolidated, consolidated, consolidated. And then a short report came out by Spruce Point Capital and Carisdale Capital that said this company is a scam, it did whatever. The stock went from like $30 down to like $21, $22. And then all of a sudden, it started grinding back, grinding back, grinding back, but now there were short stuck and now it broke out above $30. And when it broke up, broke out above $30, it now started to get other AI stocks like SOUN and BBAI to go crazy. So that's one, that's one example of how a hot market starts, right? Sympathy plays, sector plays, whatever. So I wanna talk about a concept that we've been talking about for a very long time in MIC, which is called the money flow concept, okay? So today waking up in the morning, we had two potential sectors running. We had the AI sector running, because the stock ticker AI broke out and we had the oil sector running today. Now, why was the oil sector running? So OPEC, right? OPEC is pretty much uh, an agreement between the oil producing countries to say how much distribution of oil they're gonna do. So pretty much guys, pretty much OPEC can manipulate how much oil they want to kind of gather, right? If they want to gather a lot of oil, right? It'll cause prices to go down because there is high supply. But if they say we're gonna do an oil production cut, supply goes down, demand goes up, and price goes up. So all these companies, that are, all these countries that are part of OPEC could pretty much manipulate the price of oil on demand. All they have to do is get together and say, hey guys, you wanna just produce less oil and make more money? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Cool, more money? Sounds good to me. And that's what happens with OPEC. OPEC pretty much controls how much oil is gonna be produced. So news came out that OPEC said they're gonna do a cut on their production. When they do a cut on their production, that means supply goes down, that means demand goes up, and price of oil goes up. So oil is currently up 5% today, which is a lot for oil. Oil going up 5% is a lot, okay? So we had 
oil sector stocks moving today as well. So we had the AI sector moving and we had the oil sector moving today. Now the question was, which sector was gonna get the attention today, right? My thought process was, I thought the AI sector was gonna get more attention because that is more of a desirable, hot, sexy topic that people are talking about. So we had the AI stocks go crazy. When that happened, when that happened, my thought process was I want to short the oil stocks. If there is a big pile of money that could be traded, right? So the way I think about it is traders are participants in the market. Wherever traders put their money in the market, that's usually the stocks that move. So if there's a pile of money or a pile of traders in the market, and most of them are focused on the AI sector that's moving, that's hot, that's sexy, that means that pile of money for the oil sector is not gonna be as popular, it's not gonna be as prevalent, so that gives me an opportunity to say, hey, this sector's probably gonna fail today, okay? So that's kind of exactly what I did today. My focus today was trying to identify which sector would get the money flow. My plan was to see which sector would get the attention, and whichever sector was losing the attention, that's where I would start to short these stocks. So. What happened today is we had a big runner, GFAI. As I am recording this video, GFAI went from almost $8 to $18. $8 to $18, guys. So that told me that the AI sector had all the money. So what did I do? I looked for the oil sector to start to get faded. INDO was moving a little bit, and pretty much we shorted it at $650. It went down to 550 and all of a sudden we made our money and we called it a day. We picked the sector that was not as sexy. We picked the sector to, uh, sector to avoid on the short side. That's how you make money on the short side. You look for the sector, you look for the plays, you look for the stocks that are not on uh, people's radar, the stocks that people are not focused on, the stocks that people forgot about. That's how you make money on the short side. How do you make money on the long side? Well. If the oil sector is dead and the AI sector is hot, then you as a low buys trader should look to buy hot AI sector stocks on day one, which is stocks like BBAI, SOUN, or even uh, GFAI. GFAI has AI in it, GFAI. And that's why I went crazy. So today is day two on GFAI. It went pretty much straight up. So when GFI, when GFAI was taking the money flow, taking the attention, taking the uh, hot sector money on the day, instead of shorting that, which would be incorrect, I shorted the oil stocks. So first you have to determine which sector is hot, AI or oil. Depending on which ones have the runners, you could determine GFAI was going straight up, INDO was going straight down. And as a short bias trader, people often have the wrong concept of trading these stocks. They think that as a short bias trader, your job is to short the stocks that keep going up and up and up and up and up and up because they're up 100%, 200%, 300%. No. What you have to do as a short bias trader is look for the stocks that people forgot about. Look for the stocks that ran, came back down, the momentum is shot, and the money has flowed somewhere else. So that's exactly what happened on INDO. It's kind of running pre-market, kind of failed. And you know, when the GFAI was taking attention, I started to focus on INDO. So as a short bias trader, look for the stocks that are losing money flow. Look for the stocks that are forgotten. As a long bias trader, look for the stocks that are continuing to make new highs. Look for stocks that are holding above VWAP. Look for stocks that are in a hot sector like AI. And then within that sector, there's stocks like GFAI, SOUN, and BBAI. Now, now, my goal, my goal would be to have GFAI keep running, keep running, keep running. And then tomorrow, on day three of the move, if it has another parabolic move and we have another stock running, that new stock running should take the money flow away from GFAI, which gives me an edge to short it. But if there's no new stock running tomorrow, if there's no new stock taking the money flow, GFAI might keep going and going and going and going. So as a long bias trader, you should be looking for stocks that are holding above VWAP, that are on day one or day two, continuing the move in a hot sector. Buy that. When you are a short bias trader, Look for stocks that are forgotten. Look for stocks that people don't care about. Look for stocks that are in a forgotten sector, okay? And then from there, on bounces, you could short that. And then for the other stocks on the long side, look to buy dips. That's pretty much what we do every single day. We identify which sector is hot. We identify which sector is cold. 
We short the cold sector, we buy the hot sector. There's so many members in MIC that nailed going long GFAI. There's so many members in MIC that nailed going short INDO. So if you could determine which sector is hot, which sector is cold, and then make your bet long or short based on that, game over. You're gonna print money. And that's what we do every single day, right? That's what we do every single day. And that's why we come on here and make these videos, right? So we have pretty much, I just wanna let you guys know that we have pretty much a few hours left to join MIC at a discounted rate. So as you guys know, I started a small account challenge at the beginning of the year on January 3rd. I started a $35,000 account and I wanted to see how far I could grow it. And within 55 days, using the MIC strategy, I grew it to a million dollars. No pumping, no alerting, no text messages, nothing. Using the watch list and trading our process. So in celebration of growing this $35,000 account to a million, we create a promotion for you guys to join MIC for just $99 on your first month. It's going to be available at myinvestingclub.com slash small account. We have approximately 10 more spaces left, right? We capped it out. We only have about 10 more spaces left. So probably by the time you're watching this video, if you haven't signed up already, space is going to be full. So if you guys go to myinvestingclub.com slash small account, you'll get to join MIC, you'll get our courses, you'll get access to me, you'll get access to everyone. And hey, if you're struggling in trading and you don't know how to find these hot stocks, I guarantee you can make more than $100 a day trading these stocks. So I wanna be able to also come on here and make more videos for you guys. I wanna come on here and kind of provide more content, but it gets very discouraging when only 500 people watch these videos, right? So I want to ask you guys, if you guys could leave a comment and let me know what type of content do you wanna see from me? What type of stuff do you wanna see? I know people have been asking for live trades and we do have live trades for lifetime members in MIC. People have been asking for trade recaps, maybe more vlogs. So please tell me what type of content that you guys would like to see. Uh, to kind of help push these videos out even more because our goal is to become a replacement for college. Our goal is to become a low cost, high value educational system. So I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. Do you guys wanna see more trade recap videos? Do you guys wanna see more vlogs? Let me know what you want to see so I can create that content for you because I am so sick of seeing all these scammers on the internet flexing their fake watches, their rented cars, all this stuff. and. You know, I got a Lambo, I got a million dollars in watches, but I don't flex it because that's just not who I am, right? That's just not who I am. So I want to ask you guys, what can we do as content creators to provide more value for you? So hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. And remember, 10 spaces left to join for a discounted rate. I'll see you guys in the room in a little bit. Thanks, everyone.